Hello, this is Michimotsu, and I'm doing a request from, I believe it is, fudge, I forget his name, I believe it's Guitar Hero, here, Guitar Hero 3 Plays 986, probably my first request, and he requested a topic, he suggested I could, and it may actually works, because I don't know where he brought up Dragon Ball Z, but it works as a good topic, even though I have to divide this into four parts, because it works better if I have one topic and I rant and ramp on it. And the first part here is going to be Dragon Ball, the original series by Akira Toriyama, who unfortunately was not so involved in GT, and I'm not sure how involved he was in the movies, but I'll just speculate on that. But in any sense, let's start with Dragon Ball, where the cast is certainly a lot more limited, and the cast is certainly not at all focused on sensing the power level of uh, everyone. Dragon Ball Z was notorious, and still is for that. Especially the ni over 9,000 meme, which is never going to ever die. Luckily, Dragon Ball, I don't think, has virtually any memes that I can think of. That's because it was actually good. Not to mention, it was a series that could have continued on for uh, probably a little longer if Akira Toriyama had decided to, I don't know, do some other stuff. But I can't blame him for going to the DBZ where we start revealing, like, there are other planets out there. And there are even stronger people for Goku to fight, etc. But, yeah, I was thinking about my favorite character, and I really cannot think of one off the top of my head. I mean, maybe Master Roshi, because, well, Master Roshi is completely badass in Dragon Ball, unlike in Dragon Ball Z, where he's become a complete and utter loser. And I think, uh, what? I mean, I think even at his old age, he actually had a pretty decent power level, but that's all, really. It was, I don't know. I think Master Roshi's was maybe in the 200s, even in Dragon Ball Z times. But, you know, all I can say is basically that, uh, you know, I'd have to just go with Master Roshi for my favorite Dragon Ball character because of the fact that, well, he's pretty badass in Dragon Ball. Not to mention, yeah, the first time you meet him, it's just, holy shit, this guy destroyed a fucking mountain. But, I don't know, this, yeah, the series is very good. I'd recommend it to anyone who is wanting to introduce, uh probably anyone of almost any age to anime or manga if they want to read the manga because I imagine the manga is very very good considering it's the direct work of Akira Toriyama as opposed to the adaptation which probably and most definitely has his involvement and it has it shows his hand still within it or on it or however you want to phrase that and the arcs are interesting too and not to mention I don't know I wish I could hear the original uh, opening but I've only heard the American version, which is kind of just, eh. Not to mention, I could always go on an interesting little side note about the censoring that went on with it, particularly with scenes that are, in some respect, harmless, but in some respect, sure, some of them are pretty bad, such as, uh, hmm, let me think. Maybe, oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Anyway, um, b Bacteria, well, Bacterian, his little, uh, scene where he, uh, sticks his hands down, well, never mind, they might have actually kept that, but that might have been the uncut DVD or such, some such thing, where you actually have that, but you have, with bacteria, and he's shoving his hand down his speedo, and, ew, <laughs> they really, really centered that part when they were actually showing it on Cartoon Network, but it makes you wonder why Cartoon Network would even try to put that on there, when censoring that would actually be a lot, would take a lot of the fun out of it, as opposed to censoring Dragon Ball Z, where it's just in a matter of switching the blood colors. Uh, as opposed to really, really chopping out any scenes. Although they do do that, of course. They chop out uh, some scenes with Tien and Launch that are somewhere in there. But it's virtually unconsequential unless someone actually cares about Tien. But he was an interesting character in Dragon Ball. Uh, let's see. There were Dragon Ball movies, but I'll talk about them later. I don't know. I could go to about seven minutes with this Dragon Ball rant ramble thing. But I don't want to go much further, considering I could probably talk much longer about Dragon Ball Z, maybe even Dragon Ball GT. But the movies, I don't know, I'll have to boil those down in the end. Including my... I haven't actually seen the Dragon Ball movie in theaters and all that. I really want to. I've heard some mixed reviews, but I'll give my own opinions on it from what I've heard. That sort of thing, you know. An indirect and admittedly incomplete review of the movie. Even though it wouldn't be, a, I'm not very good at making these big reviews like James Nintendo Nerd does, but it's a difference. He's a professional. Anyway, 
on to more about what really made Dragon Ball nice. I mean, it felt more like Dr. Slump, even though I really haven't read Dr. Slump. If I had to find another Akira Toriyama series that feels like Dragon Ball, it would be Sandland, even though Sandland was maybe... It's it's a whole volume tops, I think. I mean, you can find it in stores, and it's probably only about a volume of stuff, but it's a very nice series. It could have I would have almost wanted to see it go further, because he might have been able to actually advance it more. Bringing other characters, those sorts of things, but it's fine the way it is. But you get that same idea with it. You get the same vibe. That it's not about sci-fi. It's not about stupid power levels and all this complete and other crap that came in. Especially with regards to the androids, even though they were probably most, they were probably the most popular characters and probably still are some of the most significantly popular characters in the series. When you start going into that, especially with regards to the time travel issue, don't even get me started on that. I probably will try to confront that in Dragon Ball Z rant, ramble, but, I mean, Dragon Ball was just really about Goku and the others going around getting the Dragon Balls, stopping the bad guys from getting them, wishing for bad things, and those sorts of things, but it really wasn't anything involving, uh, I mean, you could argue, of course, there was a Piccolo, who admittedly is actually an alien, but, you know, that possibly could be an argument for what made it a little less appealing to the classic anime fans that liked it just for the fact that it was down to earth, very kind of a Sayuki feel, which is actually what it was somewhat based on, especially the character Goku. But it doesn't it wouldn't doesn't feel the same when you have, hey, Goku's an alien, hey, Piccolo's an alien, hey, everyone's an effing alien except the humans. But anyway, uh, there's not much else I could really comment on except if I had to uh, say which one of the Dragon Ball series in general was my favorite series, it would have to be Dragon Ball. And if I was having to spend my money on just one of the Dragon Ball series for in full, it would probably be Dragon Ball. But anyway, you'll have yeah, two pictures in this little nice, it's not really a slideshow, it's just I don't want to have just one picture. I like to have at least two pictures to, yeah, to have people comment in the comment section like they did before yeah, the picture changed. But hope you enjoy this. I'll uh, get right to doing the Dragon Ball Z and GT and even the movie one. I'll probably try to get them all recorded and I don't know if I'll be able to put them all together, but I probably should. I got time. Anyway, see you later.